There is a machine capable of changing the course of history from the skies. With a value exceeding $2.1 billion, the B-2 Spirit is not just an aircraft. It is the most lethal and stealthy military aircraft ever created. A technological masterpiece that inspires admiration and envy from powers around the world, yet it belongs exclusively to one nation, the United States. But how is one of the greatest marvels of modern engineering built? To find out, let us travel to the heart of the American aerospace industry, to the top secret facilities of Northrop Grumman, where this Sky Titan is born. The B-2 Spirit is a machine designed to blend into the sky and vanish from radar. Its smooth, dark and continuous surface gives it a ghostly appearance, like a shadow gliding silently above the world. But the B-2 is not the result of improvisation. Its story begins in the 1940s, when Jack Northrup, founder of the Northrop Company, imagined a flying wing bomber. That idea, ahead of its time, materialised in the experimental YB-49 a plane without vertical stabilizers that promised superior aerodynamics and lower radar visibility. However, the technology of the time was not yet ready to support his vision. Decades later, during the Cold War, the fear of nuclear conflict and the need for a bomber capable of penetrating Soviet defenses without being detected revived that old proposal. Under the Advanced Technology Bomber Program, Northrop resumed the concept and fused it with new advances in composite materials, electronics and stealth techniques. Jack Northrop, already elderly and in a wheelchair, was able to see the first prototypes of the B-2 shortly before his death in 1981. His dream of an invisible, elegant and lethal aircraft had come to life, but how did the vision of this man become one of the most powerful military planes of today? The construction process began in a sterile design room illuminated by high-resolution screens where aerospace engineers defined every detail of the B-2 using three-dimensional modeling software. The flying wing shape, with a wingspan of 52 meters and no fuselage or tail, is not just visually striking. It eliminates surfaces that reflect radar waves and optimizes weight distribution for stable flight. Every curve, every angle, is designed to minimize radar, thermal and acoustic signatures turning the B-2 into a ghost in the air. Once approved, the digital blueprints are transferred to the production line, a hangar the size of a stadium where precision is the absolute rule. The B-2's production line is an ecosystem of advanced technology and meticulous human labor, divided into multiple specialized stations. In the first stage, structural components are manufactured in a state-of-the-art composite materials room. The internal structure of the B-2 is made from aerospace-grade titanium alloys, a metal that combines lightness with resistance, strong enough to withstand the extreme stresses of flying at 50,000 feet. In industrial ovens reaching 1600 degrees Celsius, titanium parts are shaped with a level of precision that allows no room for error. However, the true secret of the B-2 lies in its outer panels, made from a carbon and graphite composite a revolutionary material stronger than steel, lighter than aluminum, and with the unique ability to absorb a significant amount of radar radiation. This composite, developed specifically for stealth applications, is produced in thin layers that are stacked and cured in giant autoclaves, where controlled pressure and heat create perfectly smooth and resistant surfaces. The manufacturing process of these panels is so delicate that any imperfection, even at the microscopic level, could compromise the aircraft's invisibility. In an adjacent station, molds for the composite panels are prepared. These molds, made from heat-resistant materials, are designed with tolerances of less than one millimeter to ensure that each piece fits perfectly into the flying wing structure. Specialized technicians, using laser cutting systems, shape the carbon graphite sheets before placing them in the molds. Once inside the autoclave, the sheets undergo a curing cycle that can last several hours, during which sensors monitor temperature and pressure in real time. The result is a material that is not only structurally superior, but also directly contributes to the B-2 stealth by reducing its radar cross-section. The main assembly line is a spectacle of coordination. In a sterile environment, free of dust and particles, technicians in protective suits assemble the sections of the flying wing. Each segment is joined with titanium bolts 
aligned using laser systems for exact positioning. Robotic arms, programmed with artificial intelligence algorithms, place the carbon graphite panels, ensuring that the outer surfaces maintain the smooth curves needed to deflect radar waves. At this stage, internal reinforcements made from a combination of titanium and polymer matrix composites are also installed, providing additional rigidity without adding weight. Every joint is inspected with ultrasonic and X-ray scanners to detect defects invisible to the naked eye. Because in an aircraft designed to evade the most advanced radars, perfection is non-negotiable. A station dedicated exclusively to stealth applies the coating that makes the B2 practically invisible. In sealed chambers where the air is filtered to prevent contamination, layers of radar absorbing material are applied a classified substance that absorbs radar waves instead of reflecting them. This coating, whose composition is one of the best kept secrets of the United States Air Force, is applied with extreme precision and dries under controlled conditions. High frequency scanners verify the uniformity of each layer, ensuring there are no weak spots. Additionally, the B2 receives a special matte gray paint that minimizes light reflection and reduces its infrared signature making it undetectable to thermal sensors. This process, which can take weeks for a single aircraft, is what allows the B-2 to slip through enemy defences like a spectre. In the system's integration room, the B-2 comes to life with the installation of its vital components. Four General Electric F-118 engines, each with 17,000 pounds of thrust, are housed in internal compartments designed to minimise thermal and acoustic signatures. These engines, optimized for silent operation, are tested in acoustic chambers that simulate extreme flight conditions. In a separate station, the electronic systems are integrated. A digital brain made up of redundant computers processes millions of calculations per second. The fly-by-wire system, which replaces mechanical controls with electronic signals, allows for precise maneuvering by compensating for the complex aerodynamics of the flying wing. The sensors, including navigation radars and electronic countermeasure systems, are installed in shielded compartments protected against electromagnetic interference. The cockpit, a compact but technologically advanced command center, is designed for two crew members, the pilot and the mission commander. Equipped with high-resolution multifunction screens, it displays real-time data from navigation maps to target and threat information. The ergonomic controls, designed for missions of up to 20 hours, allow the aircraft to be operated with surgical precision. The ejection seats, capable of functioning at any altitude or speed, are installed with the utmost care to ensure reliability in emergencies. Every component of the cockpit is subjected to exhaustive testing, simulating extreme conditions to ensure its durability. The weapons bay, located in the belly of the B-2, is a testament to its lethal versatility. With a payload capacity of up to 18,144 kilograms, it can carry anything from conventional GPS-guided bombs to cruise missiles like the AGM-158 and nuclear weapons like the B-61 and B-83. The bay doors, operated by hydraulic actuators, are designed to open and close quickly without compromising stealth. Each mechanism is tested repeatedly in a dedicated station, simulating loading and unloading cycles under combat conditions. The capabilities of the B-2 make it an unmatched strategic platform, with a range of 11,100 kilometers without refueling and virtually unlimited with in-flight refueling, it can carry out global missions from its base in Whiteman, Missouri, to any corner of the world. Its subsonic speed close to 900 kilometers per hour, is optimized for fuel efficiency, allowing long duration flights. The aircraft operates at altitudes of up to 15,000 meters, beyond the reach of many air defense systems. Its navigation system, which combines GPS, terrain following radar, and inertial sensors, allows it to operate in hostile environments without relying on external signals. In addition, its modular design allows for continuous upgrades, ensuring the B-2 remains relevant in the face of modern threats. The B-2 has proven its value in various conflicts, where it executed precise attacks with minimal impact on unwanted infrastructure. Its ability to penetrate advanced air defences, evading radars and missiles, makes it a key tool for strategic deterrence and surgical precision. 
the combination of stealth, range and payload makes it unique in the arsenal of the United States Air Force. In the final stage of production, the B-2 undergoes rigorous quality control in a dedicated testing station. X-ray and ultrasound scanners inspect the structural joints, while tests in anechoic chambers, rooms lined with wave-absorbing cones, verify that its radar signature is comparable to that of a small bird. The propulsion, electronic and weapon systems are subjected to combat simulations that recreate long-range missions in hostile environments. The landing gear, made with high-strength alloys, is tested under extreme loads, while every sensor and actuator is evaluated to ensure flawless performance. Only then does the aircraft receive its final touch, the emblems of the United States Air Force. From that moment on, it is ready to take to the skies and fulfill its missions with surgical precision, capable of striking strategic targets with relentless efficiency. In this way, the B-2 stands as one of the most advanced and lethal combat machines in the world, and that is how the most lethal and expensive aircraft in the world is made. Tell me, what did you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you have not subscribed yet, now is the perfect time. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video. Here are some other manufacturing processes you will love. Just click on one and enjoy. See you next time.